Hello and welcome back to another Unix car video. My name's Danny Neville and today we have the Mercedes-Benz AMG GTS. Mercedes-Benz is an, a V8 by turbo engine and it's a massive beast of a pow powerhouse inside. When you really hear the roar, uh, burbles and pops, you stamp on the accelerator with this vehicle. It's got carbon ceramic brakes, uh, giving you the stopping power you need when you're traveling at high speeds in this absolute machine. Onto the AMG GTS is particularly stunning. And when you're behind it, uh, or, or someone's in, fr uh, in front of you looking in the rear view mirror, you can really see how wide this car is. The stance is incredible. It's got very much of a Batman sort of style car look. And overall, it always grabs attention. It looks very smart and you can use it on a daily basis. It is a practical car to use on a daily, hence it being a GT. And this car, it's got very much a Mercedes-Benz SLS sort of style and feel. It even sports uh, bonnet vents, giving it an aggressive style and look throughout the vehicle. It's, it's fluttered with um, sparkling carbon. It's, so it's got gloss carbon throughout the exterior and it's got matte carbon on the interior of this car. Every angle you look at, it's got a lovely display of carbon available. And the rear diffuser is absolutely huge, covered in carbon. So this AMG GTS is actually the premium package, and that's important to note when you're looking for one, uh, because obviously the interior and the exterior specification does vary, and that's why you'll see so many beautiful accents on this one being the premium package. Exhausts are absolutely real on this car, as you'd expect being a Super GT. Uh, and when you stamp on the accelerator, you can certainly hear the engine roar and bellow out of these massive exhausts. The top speed is 193 miles per hour and 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds, making an excellent drive. Mercedes AMG GTS uh, in this particular specification has an Alcantara steering wheel and it feels very, very special. If you've got a lever steering wheel for not too much more, you can actually change the lever steering wheel, whether it be new or pre-owned. So I would certainly recommend having the uh, Alcantara steering wheel. For me personally, it makes it feel a bit more special. The seats really do hug you in. As you can see here, you've got deep bolsters. The, the back fit is quite firm. And I love the style and design they've given on, the, on these racing sort of styled uh, leather seats. And they feel very, very special indeed. You really do get hugged in. I absolutely love the contrasting design on, on this particular model. You also have a motorized wheel rake. So you can actually extend the steering wheel out and up and down by the touch of your finger. Those on the GTS are metal as well, uh, with rubber grip. I particularly like this finish. All too often on cars nowadays, you'll see plastic um, pedals. You just think, this is a premium car. It needs to have a premium finish everywhere. The Burmester sound system is absolutely incredible. I drive lots of cars and experience various stereo systems. When you crank this up, say Spotify or whatever audio system you use, play your favorite music through here, the sound quality is incredible. It's crystal clear, it's loud, it's bassy, it's deep. It gives you everything you want. I love all these big vents right here. It's a big theatrical presence uh, within the car. And from an airflow point of view, you've got plenty of airflow. To the left, you have a big navigation screen where you can zoom in and out of wherever you are. And you can also change that to all your favorite media settings. It goes all the way out to 1,000 miles in view. You have two cup holders, and the center cockpit here is like nothing else. You've got all of your uh, exciting buttons, and I do love a lot of buttons on, on a car. I know most new cars are going to more digital display and more screens. However, I'm a big fan of having very fancy buttons and knobs, as you can see here, done very cleverly, is the exterior of the boot, as you can see here, uh, essentially protects and blocks through the visible glass what's in the back. But Mercedes have also added this um, pull-out screen mechanism, which enables you just to literally pull it back and screen off whatever's in the boot. Very large, and being a GT, if you're traveling across Europe, for example, or across the States, you've got ample amounts of space, a plenty for a few handbags and luggages, uh, enough maybe for a suitcase and, and exterior accessories as well. But what's particularly great about the GT is just say you've got a suit or a dress or, and, and both of you are going to a, a party or a function, you can lay those fully out. Whereas a lot of sports cars, you have to fold them up or find a way of um, making sure they don't get creased up on the way. On the GT and the Mercedes have absolutely nailed it by having a full length boot 
where you can have it all nicely partitioned and laid out so you don't have creasing issues when you get to the other end. Boot height, I'm six foot tall and you can see here roughly how tall the boot opens. Travelling long distance, there's nothing more important to listen to your favourite tunes and Mercedes have installed a subwoofer right at the back here giving an amplified experience throughout the vehicle. As if this car wasn't stiff enough already, the AMG team have installed a matte carbon roll bar through the centre, making the vehicle even more rigid and even more special. So thank you for watching another Your Next Car video. Today we've featured the Mercedes-Benz AMG GTS. We hope you've enjoyed it. Please like, subscribe and share your comments below and visit Your Next Car online to find your next car and it could be an AMG GTS.